us tonight. We start with breaking news in Hartford. Police are on the scene of a second homicide in less than 24 hours. We have News 8's Josh Scheinblum there, but uh, Deputy Chief Brian Foley is speaking out right now. What do you got? Uh, at about uh, 8.30 p.m., we had some 911 calls and some shots fired. Uh, our officers responded and found a victim on the sidewalk, a uh, female. She was pronounced here on scene um, with gunshot wounds. Yeah, Kevin, we are still our major crimes right detectives now, arrived on scene, right now, and it's just getting going now, the investigation. Right now, Is there anything you can tell us about the victim? Uh, it's very early at this point, and uh, you know, we're looking at a couple hours at best. Our, our detectives are here now. Uh, I can tell you that it's not related to last night's uh, or this morning's shooting, uh, and that we don't believe it was a random attack. Uh, we have evidence and information to make us believe uh, that it was a, a targeted uh, type situation. I can't get into much more detail beyond that, um, but that's, that's what we have at this point. Any word on motive at this point? Uh, we have some idea. I can say that there's not a threat to the community, that we believe it was a targeted incident, uh, isolated, uh, and we don't expect uh, anything further from this at this point, and our detectives are uh, initiating their investigation. This is the second homicide today. Is any belief that there could be any kind of connection to the... Uh, no, and as I stated before, we, we have every, every indication to tell us that it's not related to this morning's shooting. Uh, separate incidents uh, related in that that obviously it's a sad uh, situation in both and, and troubling but uh, certainly something we want to get bottom of on both. Is the victim known to the police department? Uh, we're not in the business of uh, slinging mud or saying bad things about our victims so uh, at, at, you're entitled to the same records as anyone else so uh, you'll be able to figure that out when we release the identity. And have the weapons been recovered? And no weapons say, recovered. No weapons recovered. And no. anything about a suspect tonight? Uh, we have witnesses. And they're talking to our detectives now in the Major Crimes Division uh, at the Hartford Police Department. Uh, when we can give more, we will. But right now, no. Uh, no suspects. Chief, given the fact that this is the second homicide in 24 hours, what is the police department doing in the wake of these two shootings? Let me put it this way, Josh. These are two very distal locations of the city very quiet neighborhoods both. Mary Shepherd's Place is a cul-de-sac uh, in a very quiet adult community there and this is South and George Street. Uh, both locations we rarely have anything happen here uh, let alone something like this. Uh, both have a, a unique dynamic to each. Each have good solvability factors but indications tell us they're not related. Indications tell us that uh, there was a specific motive for each and that the general public does not have anything to fear at this point. And can you say why the victim was in this area? Did she live in this area? Uh, we have not made a positive identification yet, so I can't say where she did. We suspect we know who the victim is. Um, as to why she was here, obviously we're still trying to uh, develop that now. Thank you, Chief. All right, Chief, thank you so All right, much. Guys. Now again, a homicide here at near the intersection of South and George wrapping up the press conference. That was Deputy Chief Brian Foley there. Um, clearly, there is an investigation still ongoing here. Obviously, there's more information that we need to know. I'm not sure if you were able to get a look at what was going on, but clearly there is some uh, police tape up here. They've got this whole neighborhood, this whole area uh, cordoned off, and obviously this is a story we will continue to follow here on News 8, so make sure you stay with us for the very latest for our live in Hartford. For Josh Scheinblum, News 8.